Hello again everyone and welcome to another tutorial in my How to Draw Iconic Images series. Before we start, of course, if you could subscribe, that would be fabulous. Thank you very much. And also remember to ring that little bell icon if you want to know what's coming up next. Okay, well the iconic image today is Banksy's Flower Thrower. Uh, incredibly powerful image which he drew on a wall in the West Bank very near the wall which separates Israel and Palestine and Gaza and he drew it as an anti-war, anti-violence uh, protest and uh, basically what it, what it is is an image of um, a protester throwing what you would think would be perhaps something violent but in actual fact it's a bunch of flowers so it's a plea for peace as well so the angle of the body is like this. His head is that shape here. Of course he used a stencil, uh, um, but first of all what you have to do is you have to draw the actual shape itself. So his arm is flung out like this. Okay, and we'll rub out the lines later once we uh, put the actual stencil shapes in. Um, his hand, you can just see his thumb appearing like that and another Another finger coming in underneath there. And that's a rough shape there. He has a baseball cap on, of course, so uh, we have a line here and the peak of the cap coming out here, and also a mask on, which appears about here. Uh, the features, his eye, uh, his eyebrow comes up like that, and then uh, the actual slit of his uh, eye coming in there, and the line below it, and then his forehead would jut out here. You can see another eyebrow there. And then, of course, the uh, the nose would appear there with the mask on it, like that. So that's kind of shape you see there. And uh, underneath the baseball cap, you see the shape of his hair coming in, and then his ear there. Okay. Now, what Bacha did with the uh, the stencil, of course, is you leave a lot of the actual outlines uh, out. Uh, so, but as I said, you have to kind of draw them in first of all. So, uh, let's see how that bring that down to it there. There's his other shoulder. There's his arm coming down, and the arm thrown back like that, coming up, and um, his thumb coming around the bunch of flowers like that. Okay, uh, I think it was painted on the wall of a garage, very near the the wall, which uh, Banksy said. Uh, Turn Gaza into the largest open air prison in the world. And in the in the paper wrapping, if you like, the flowers kind of almost like explode out the top. But not like a bomb, like uh, flowers of peace. Like that, you get these lines coming out there. You get um, kind of almost like sunflower shaped one here. Another one coming in there. And another flower in here, another one below it, and you get a uh, flower coming out like that, and you get a bit of greenery coming out above that here, and you get which, uh, what looks like kind of sprigs of lilac coming up like that, and you get some more greenery here like that, another Big of lilac there, and another one there. I'll go over that in more detail uh, once I start using the pen. We, the, the angle of the body is like that, okay? So there's what you have to try and imagine. Come down to his uh, t-shirt, which kind of sticks out yeah, about there probably, and uh, goes across his body. But there's lots of deep shadow, uh, which I'll draw in in a minute. Uh, and then this leg, his right leg is stretched way out, like that. Down to his boot, which is pointing this way. You get that kind of shape there. This other leg is kind of bracing himself on it, like that. Bent slightly at the knee, coming down. 
and the foot is turned slightly more towards you. There's also a kind of deep shadow coming in along the bottom, like that, and also there. Okay, now what we do now is we actually try to draw in the, the stencil shapes that uh, Banksy used. Um, now I'm just looking at this and I see this is uh, too high, so that peak should come down to but there just below his ear. Okay, like that. Uh, and that's uh, is in there. There's a bit of hair coming in there. That should be a bit higher. And then there's, of course, there's the, the gap at the back of the, the cap. And then his nose would come out. And then that, the mask would angle backwards. And as it comes in there, you get all these wrinkles, of course. So what um, Baxi did was he used those as, uh, as almost like a, artistic shapes to create a dramatic sense of movement. So instead of putting all the wrinkles in, you just get the edge of them and the light then bleaches out that part there. So that part is in there, you get another wrinkle coming in there. And uh, there'll be wrinkles of course all down here, but he just kind of picks out parts of them like that. And as they come around this, the curve of his, uh, arm here, you get uh, you get these kind of wrinkles coming in like that and one little one there and comes up and it goes into that space there and there's a big light area here and uh, what you do is that kind of thing or little islands and down can we cut here across right up there okay this will be about there and on this line here this is all going to be black this whole area here so that arm flying out to there you get the shadow coming right underneath his thumb there then back down to his t-shirt, the silhouette, at the end of his t-shirt sticking out there, and his thigh starts there, and we get this crinkle bit under here. And as I said, the t-shirt starts there, but in actual fact you get the shadow uh, coming down onto his trousers there, and that kind of comes across like that at an angle onto his thigh there. And then we leave a bit, and then there's a dark bit here, and then around the top of his knee is catching the light, so you leave that light, you put a bit of wrinkly shadow underneath here, which goes down this side of his trouser, leaves this light here, starts to go back up, leave a gap, another bit of darkness there, another bit in the bend of the leg, leave a gap, coming up to these creases stretched creases on his trousers there which come across like that another one here and then you get a deep shadow running down this side of the leg now again following the creases of the folds of the fabric and down this side uh got a bit of darkness there let me have a gap and then another bit of darkness there and then another bit here. And then down onto the boot, the front is dark. And there's a light bit coming up here. So you get that kind of shape going down towards the toe. All right, and then down here, uh, this boot here, we have light catching that part. And there, dark at the back. And there's a kind of double bit of darkness there, which comes on and join onto that bit of shadow there. Right, okay, so what I'm going to do is get a pen now. Uh, I'll, I'll just touch in this uh, bit of shadow on his hand here. What you get is a bit of shadow at the top of his thumb and very deep shadow in here. You just see the other finger coming in just there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, outline these 
shapes that I've drawn with a pen and then I'll rub out all the pencil lines and you'll see what happens when you're left with the just the actual basic shapes. Okay, I've got a black pen now and I've started to outline the shapes of the head. I've actually made the head slightly broader because I, th I thought uh, it was rather narrow um, when I started off there. So around these shapes, like that. So we'll go around every one and pick out the dramatic bold shapes that Banksy left in his stencil. And as I said, I'll rub out the pencil lines for the guidelines that I used. There's the mask going up there. Up over the nose and cutting back down his outstretched arm, nice wrinkly line. Up to there. And right under his thumb. And then the darkness underneath. You just see that sticking out, I'll just shave that in just now. And you get the idea of the dramatic shape. Now you see that that'll be rubbed out eventually. You know, I guess to give you an idea if I just shade that in, you see how bold the whole thing starts to look like that. Okay. So I'm going to carry on. I'm going to just go around all these wrinkly shapes that I've drawn. And uh, once I've done that, I'll catch up with you again. Right, as you can see, I've outlined all of these uh, shapes, uh, apart from this little shape at the, the back of the baseball cap up here, little gap. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is get my um, eraser and I'm going to rub out the pencil lines and uh, you'll see just how dramatic the whole shape looks. Um, even leaving out these lines, you know, your mind actually, uh, you know, creates them for you. You actually imagine the lines are actually there, even though he's left them out. Uh, so, uh, so let's do that. Right, okay, I rubbed out the lines, and as you can see, it creates like a pattern, you know. But as I said, your, 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 your mind creates the lines themselves, even though they, they've been taken out, you know, down here and so on. And you actually can almost see the lines around his, uh, his forehead there and his nose. Okay, so what I'm going to do is get a, a big pen now, and just to start filling in the dark areas, like that. Okay, you can use a... A smaller one for these areas up here. And you see how bold and dramatic this image Banksy has created looks like his cry against injustice. Okay, you see that? Nice and dramatic. Now let's carry on doing that. Right down to the bottom. That whole area gets filled in here. All these shapes are going to be black. They're going to be black right around here. The flowers are actually in colour. Um, that gives a really dramatic contrast to the, the black and white of the image. I'll put that in at the end. Okay, so I'm just going to carry on filling in these black shapes. Uh, right, as you can see, I filled in all of the black shapes and uh, see how bold it looks now. Uh, there are some black shapes uh, among the flowers up here. Uh, this part down here, uh, you see down that side as well, that's uh, his hand and the glove, in the glove rather is black. Uh, and up this side, you get some black shapes coming up behind the flowers and then going into the kind of greenery shapes here, just a little like that. and couple up there, one or two down here, just to throw those into relief. And then that one there is kind of silhouetted, like that. Um, there's another bit of darkness coming in, let's see, just uh, behind here. And then these leaves are in silhouette as well. A 
like that, and another bit in there, and the rest is in colour. Okay, so I'm just going to get my coloured pens and uh, to fill this bit in. Okay, I have some coloured pens here, a couple of yellows, a warmer yellow, a more lemon yellow, a lilac colour, a green and a kind of orangey red. Okay, um, start with the green and we'll pick out some of these leaves like that. You can actually use your green pen to add on other bits of leaves coming out like that. And down here. And then just around this part too. Coming in there. And maybe another bit up there. Let's find a little bit in there as well. Okay, so that's the green. Uh, oh, apart from the stems of the flowers, it comes in like that. Another one here, another one there, and one like that. Okay, so we'll now move on to the lemon yellow, uh, which goes into these slightly sunflowery shapes here. Let's see those. And the warmer yellow for the kind of around the center like that. Then use that warmer yellow again to color these ones here. Like that. Keep it in there. And the more orangey one to bring a bit of more almost like a reddy colour coming in about there and like that a bit there and then finally the lilac of these shapes here so excellent so there's Banks's dramatic anti-war, anti-violence plea for peace uh, called The Flower Thrower. So I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you can join me again for another tutorial. But in the meantime, of course, all the best and happy drawing.